Hard to believe a Chinaman like Chen Lin could. God damn it. Whatever. Fine. Don't let me read the whole thing. It's back here. Trying to hide stuff from me. Your soda. I've read about this. Oh, hey. It's got my Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Hello? What is going on up here? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Do you hear that? There's someone downstairs. Okay. Guess I gotta go back downstairs. Hi. Excuse me. Now, I'm sorry to bother you. I'd... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He gone. Gone? They take flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Mei Lin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Populi help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? <laughs> Who is the flying squad? Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. All right, let's figure out where this good time club is. All right. Let's go back. Wait, what? Where am I going? Okay, I'm going this way. Oh, shit. Alright. Whatever. Okay, I gotta... He's just gonna keep throwing human beings at me. Shooting empty clips have a 40% chance of auto filling without reload. That's pretty awesome. Thick gear. I'm a fake man and proud of it. Well, like I wasn't that hard. So that wasn't, that wasn't you bad. hold on to this. Thanks. I'm sorry about what I said at the docks. I'm calling you a thug. Yeah. Can't see how I might have changed your sense of that. You protected me. Job's a job. Alright, and we're gonna go this way. Alright, fine. There it is, Mr. DeWitt. Now we just need to head inside and find Mr. Lin. Let's and find Mr. Lin. Call me Booker. Call me Booker. On our way into the Good Time Club. The best kind of interview is 
process, one where the applicant doesn't know he's being evaluated. <laughs> but I've watched you since the other day at the lottery. <laughs> You're a brute. And in times like this, I could use a brute. What do you want, Fink? My labor unrest is coming to it. <laughs> now, Fitzroy has got the jungle all riled up. <laughs> a man like me could have use of an old Pinkerton like you. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a look at this thing first. Crime comes to Shantytown. Finkton worker housing has been plagued by panhandling vagrancy. Destruction of Fink MFG property. And worse. Fink blames his head of security. The boss has no patience for failure. And what do you got anything for the hand cannon? Pistol. Damage for the volley gun. That's for the shotgun. Clip size for the RPG. Oh, was there something for the hand cannon? Um, could increase clip size for that. Does the hand cannon count as a pistol? I don't think so. I increased my machine gun clip size by 100%. Or my carbine clip size. I hate having to make these choices because it's going to take me forever. Alright, well... No. I won't make any decisions More right money. now. Okay, catch. Thanks. Let's find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask Open is it. that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Elizabeth. Our there. first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> there, Frankly, there. Sure thing. my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. Oh, hey. Fireman Booker! Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go find the uh, other gentleman that wants to kill me. Where are you? That's Elizabeth. It's a machine gun. It's gotta be yeah. one. Where? That's right. Okay, well. This young go-getter is a former devotee of Lady Comstock. But without the old gal, they don't know quite what to do with themselves. No, they no, just no, want no, a no, 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 no. for a song. No. No. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Come 
come on. Yeah, just jump. Just jump into my bullets. Take this. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Where are you? Huh? Come on. I know you're up. Oh, oh, I see. Now, enough of the opening acts. Your true rival is an expert with the automata. Wants to replace all our security with machines. I'll give the old boy credit, though. It would be fewer mouths to feed. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Give me a second. I can help you. Aim for his gears. You know what grinds my gears? That's all I have right now. Okay. God. Damn it. Booker, get up. Booker. God. Thanks. No. Really? Thank you. Do it now. Sure thing. Thanks. Congratulations, DeWitt! You know, when your name was first passed to me, I wasn't quite sure you were the man for the job. <laughs> but now, I can say with certainty that I was quite wrong. I'm not interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fitz security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. I don't think he will. Okay, I finally find the stuff. I can buy lockpicks! Oh. Oh, that's awesome. And... RPG ammo. And pistol ammo. No. Now, repeater. Okay, it's pistol. Broadside or pistol ammo. Okay, now, hand cannon ammo. It's full. Okay. Already got that. Um, the rest of the stuff I could probably get my own. Okay. And a shotgun. Um, I'll take the shotgun over this. I like the shotgun. Better in close quarters. Yeah, instead of blowing myself up all the time like an idiot. I'm starting to dig the carbine though. Oops. And... Okay, there's a door over here. I think that's the way down. Well, let's go. 
Let me get some coffee and listen to this first. I had thought you a fool, dear brother, when you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air. I began to doubt your mental integrity, but not only have you made your fortune from these doodads, you have lit the path for me as well. 